Welcome to the 2019 ACT National Championship presented by Lucas Oil here on Sardis Lake, Mississippi. 100 teams have qualified for their chance to compete in this three-day elimination tournament for over $132,000 and the title of the American Crappie Trail National Champions. Also up for grabs is the B&M Angler Team of the Year. The super clean B&M team of Ronnie Caps and Steve Coleman are currently holding the lead with 788 points, but chomping at their heels for the second year in a row is the Lucas Oil team of Kent Watson and Drew Morgan, who trailed by just eight points. The COVID-19 pandemic locked these anglers indoors and postponed this event, pushing it from a pre-spawn to a post-spawn fishing pattern. Anything can happen in this elimination format, and every angler will have to fish hard, fast, and efficient to keep their hopes alive and move on to day two. Tartus Lake National Championship 2019. Um, we pre fished, and all we did was live scope. Um, I'm really learning it and, and trying to uh, perfect it. Looking for at least 10 pounds this morning. You know, the, we got a weather change this morning. Not sure what that's going to do to the fish. If it doesn't move the fish, I think we'll see some pretty good weigh ins. But it's probably going to be one of the closest tournaments. Well, we had a rough pre fish, man. We Our boat broke down twice. So we only, out of what, four days, we only got to pre fish for two. Uh, we're hoping we get at least nine pounds today. Uh, but we'll sell whatever we can get as long as we make it to Saturday. We're gonna get down there and put her in the wind long line and uh, get after it. We know this lake pretty good, but uh, you know, these fish are always moving, so we just hope for the best today. Well, we're kind of expecting winds and storms today, so we're gonna pull jigs and pull crankbaits. Uh, just hoping, you know, for 10 pounds or so. And to have some fun. And to have some fun. Here we are, Matt. Lucas Oil Championship, Sardis Lake. Man, it's been a long ride getting here. We've put up with a lot of stuff, but I'm so glad we're here. You've got the 100 best anglers in the country that have qualified mm -hmm. to fish this tournament, and they can long line troll, crank bait, double minnow rig, one pole, you name it, Sardis Lake has it to offer the anglers, and they're catching a ton of fish in practice. You know, the one thing that does kill Sardis is the weather. We've got storms coming in with high winds. Who can find those places that are protected to give them the opportunity to catch the biggest seven fish? That's the unknown. The best anglers in the world. I can't wait to see the weigh-ins and to find out what technique really put those big ones in the boat. It's gonna be unbelievable. It is post-spawn fishing, but I guarantee you, these guys are catching 50 to 80 a day. It's gonna be who weeds through them to catch mm -hmm. the biggest seven. Welcome to Sardis Lake, Mississippi, the final challenge for ACT's B&M Angler Team of the Year. This inland Mississippi lake is man-made and features both natural standing timber and artificial Christmas tree cover. The Bass Tank team member Kevin Rogers is flying solo today, trusting in his single pole and live scope approach to put him on top. We are on Sardis Lake fishing the ACT Classic. They won. Um, plenty of fish out here to catch. I had seven keeper fish in 15 minutes this morning. How I'm fishing is I'm fishing one pole, one jig. I'm fishing fast, but thorough. And what I'm doing, I'm taking this live scope and I'm just panning. And if there's no fish, I just move on and hope I run across the, a mess. What they're doing, they're actually schooling up. Um, there'll be five to six to seven crappie on one piece of the standing timber. Post spawn, they love relating to the timber from any time after they're done spawning all the way to October, they will relate. And these fish are butting their noses right against these trees. That's my kind of fishing, one pole, one jig, and I'm going for broke. I'm gonna go to try to win it. I'm gonna go try to catch giant crappie. So that's why I'm bouncing around so much, looking for one of these giant crappie living on these trees. For day one, uh, 2019 American Crappie Trail uh, Championship. Uh, makes me nervous though. Uh, this is a three day, three day tournament, but every day half the field gets eliminated. So normally where we might would save fish for day two, that's not the case here. Uh, if we find a pot of fish, we gotta hammer them and catch them, you know, cause you know, each fish helps and it's gonna be a, probably a tight weight. Half the field's gonna go home. 
100 teams are on the lake, but tomorrow it'll only be 50. Who will make the cut? Stick around to find out. Lucas Marine Oil. It's the only oil fortified with unique Lucas additives. <laughs> Just like Major League Fishing, it's environmentally friendly. Sweet. Lucas Oil means purpose-built, high-performance product. It meets all manufacturers' specifications also. Not running Lucas Marine Oil is like fishing a tournament without a boat. Lucas Marine Oil, it's that good. General Tire was born more than 100 years ago, right here in America. We've spent the last century tackling every kind of road this country has to offer, and especially the places without roads. So you know that with General Tire, anywhere is possible. Clean up your toughest messes super easy, super fast. Only Super Clean is formulated to do the work for you. Just spray it on and watch the grease and grime wash away. Super Clean is the only cleaner degreaser that is scientifically formulated to kick any mess to the curb. So you can move on to more important things. For all of your greasiest, grimiest, toughest tasks around the house, shop, or garage, Super Clean gets the job done. Super Clean, super easy, super fast. B&M Poles, the number one crappie pole company in the world. More tournament wins than any other crappie pole. BNMPoles.com. The American Crappie Trail is brought to you by Lucas Oil Marine Products. Made in America, sold to the world. BNM Fishing, quality, performance, and service for over 70 years. Millennium Marine, the difference is in the details. Super clean, super easy, super fast, super clean. Racetrack, whatever gets you going. And these other fine sponsors. Welcome back to Sardis Lake and the ACT Championship. As our crews traveled from boat to boat, the anglers seemed to mostly have one strategy in common. We are live scoping. We're live scoping. It's live scope, live scope. Uh, we're live scoping. Some of the anglers seem to be almost in awe of its capabilities. This right down here, this is actually fry. This is this year's hatch. Yesterday they were up about 12, 14 foot. Today they're down a little deeper. See that fish right there is probably a crappie. Yeah, that's a small, small crappie. Yeah. Others, not so much. This is the first time we've had it in the water. They gave me some pointers on it, and I want to throw it in the water. <laughs> uh, you know, when you see fish swim to your bait and then they swim away, I just, I wish I wouldn't have saw that. The other things our anglers share in common, the morning is not going as well as they hoped it would. Come on, stay put. Stay put. Stay put. He ain't. These fish move more than any fish I've ever seen in my entire life anywhere. And I have fished a lot of places and these things always move. Generally a crappie will stay somewhat still. And I'm not even talking about spooking them. I mean, they just, they just, constantly on the move. I don't know if they are just on the move and that's why they just ain't set up yet. But I started out pretty windy and we tried going into the wind for a little while, but nah, you couldn't do no good. They'd blow out before they did. And then we just started going with it like always and uh, catching a lot of fish. Just, uh, just not no good ones. He moved. Oh my God. If they would stay put, I guarantee we could catch 200. Not even exaggerating, it's just, God, it makes me so mad. Ooh, hallelujah, hallelujah, there's a big one. 
And I got a kill shot if the boat won't go crazy. Got him. All right. No monster. Just make sure. We do not have the fish in the boat right now that we would like to have, um, no question. Now, these waves are causing a little bit of trouble for us, but we caught fish in the wind. We, we started at a place we were hoping to get some big fish in and we didn't score. I lost one big one that probably had already bit before. He didn't want to bite to begin with. And that, we really, we were debating on going back and trying to catch that one fish. But I'm telling you, um, these, these fish have been chased around so much, it's unreal how uh, smart they've gotten in one week's time. With this um, wind blowing like it is, the fish are getting real spooky with the slapping of the boat. So we're trying to get um, within about 35 feet of them. Drew's trying to make a cast and uh, catch them casting with a small uh, coffee magnet jig to them. Uh, we've had pretty good luck this week, but um, so far this morning, we can't get them to get one of them to bite. But you know, it's been tough for us in the early morning hours all week. So we're just gonna sit out here and see what we can do. We're uh, trying this single pole casting and jigging at him. Had a lot of fun this week. We just need to catch us a few big fish here in the next few hours. Right now, I have not one keeper in the boat. I've caught three fish that were 11 and three quarter inches. On Sardis Lake, they've gotta be over 12. So my day is not looking great an hour and 13 minutes in but that can only go up from here uh, i'm pitching all my fish you know i'm finding the fish anywhere from about six to 12 foot deep i like to pitch to them it gives them less time to look at the presentation of the bait i went with an all natural color that's what we're using at least what i'm using well we started out slow our area the fish our starting point the fish pulled off of it so we've been gradually moving up the lake it seems like the fish have made a progression. Each day they've moved a little further up. Uh, right now, you know, we're sitting with six or seven fish in the live well. Nothing that I really want to take, take to the scale, but it's better than having nothing. Here he comes. He sees it. Here he comes. Got him. Got him, Ron. Good fish. Good fish. Average fish, how's that? We're using these crappie magnets, the Butler Gold with the Big Ken's jig, eight, double eighth ounce. Uh, yesterday we had fish coming eight, nine feet to eat that jig. This water's so clear you can see about two and a half, three feet. We're just out here, we're catching these Roman fish. We've noticed this morning they don't seem to be really tight on the cover because, uh, you know, it's cloudy out. The conditions on Sardis Lake are rough, but somebody's gonna win the top spot on day one. Stay tuned to find out who will beat the odds and all the other teams when the American Crappie Trail continues. From the tackle store to your truck. To your boat on the lake. to the ramp and all the way home. Angle coolers have you covered. I'm Bill Dan. You know, I've been fishing for more than 60 years now. I know how to keep comfortable. Millennium Shade Tree Umbrella Holder will hold your Shade Tree Umbrella Shaft precisely where you need it, whether you're fishing from your own pedestal seat or Millennium's double seat sidekick. 
Trust me, this device will hold the umbrella perfectly while you hold the fish, of course. Millennium Shade Tree Umbrella Holder. You're gonna love it. To find out more about other great products from Millennium Marine, check them out at MillenniumMarine.com. Getting a high-quality, American-made product at one of the best price points in the industry. Customer service that's second to none. More importantly, they flat-out catch fish. hour I spend fishing, I spend countless hours off the water, managing tackle, taking care of my truck and boat. Sometimes I'm on the road for six weeks straight. With Lucas Oil products, I know my truck is always ready so I can stay on the road and focus on the water. Lucas Oil, made in America, sold to the world. The American Crappie Trail is brought to you by Lucas Oil Outdoor Line. Superior protection, superior performance. Mercury Marine, the official engine of the American Crappie Trail. O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts, better prices. General Tire, anywhere is possible. Power Pole, total boat control. Angle Coolers, the original roto-molded high-performance cooler. And these other fine sponsors. Welcome back to the American Crappie Trail Championship on Sardis Lake. Teams are catching fish, but finding monster crappies post-spawn is proving difficult. These fish are post-spawn, <clears throat> they're very skinny, but it's still fun. You can catch a ton of fish. What we're looking for is a fish that goes over a pound and a quarter. Tournament fishing to me is fun, and the crop, especially fishing the ACT in the format that they have with the off limits. So a guy like me and has a full-time job can come compete and um, compete on the trail. The team of Tommy Moss and Brad Calhoun have already moved their locations several times in search of the bigger fish. Uh, we're in about 16 foot of water. We've got single jigs on, uh, and we're using B and E on BGJP 14 foot poles. We're trying to stay as far away from the fish as we can because it's so rough. They're a little skittish with the wave action slapping the boat. Uh, we we put it right in some of them's face, but they just go to the bottom uh, as soon as you get close with the boat. I think we've got five, but only four of them are over two pounds, so we're struggling. Fishing started off really good this morning. I uh, had a couple of unfortunate events. Uh, lost a couple of really big fish this morning. Um, just trying to push through and catch some more really good fish. We had the elimination last year and it has a lot of people really nervous. Um, there's so many fish here that all weigh the same weight pretty much. So it's gonna be close. Um, weights for everyone. You just have to have those kicker fish to help push you forward. Last year, national championship, uh, first day I was in 45th place. Jumped from there to seventh place and from seventh to fourth on the final day. Uh, I hope not to be so low on the first day this year and try to just push through and catch them early. Last year, the team of Porter and Aldridge came in second overall, missing the top spot by only one one hundredth of a pound. This year, they're looking for redemption. We pre-fished all week, one pole live scoping. Caught tons and tons of fish in the timber, um, but it's just getting hammered to death. I mean, the fish are, by the middle of the week, the fish got spooky, and uh, we found these fish, a uh, stretch of underwater bushes here that we're about back up to, and uh, nobody's messed with them. And so we went back to what we're best at, is running eight poles and single jigs, and. Um, still using the live scope to find the bushes and then pushing our baits into them. Just seems to be, for us, better fish uh, 
We've had a pretty good morning. We'd like to upgrade a couple of fish at least, but uh, we're on a good start. I'll just put it that way. We'd like to have a little redemption from last year. We ended up losing by one one hundredth. So we actually had the fish on that morning, and uh, that would have won the tournament. One one hundredth that kind of sticks with you for a while. We're just going to keep hopping from area to area. Uh, we're finding a lot of roaming fish in between these, basically these groups of trees. So during the week, we've, we've made plenty of waypoints. We identified them through the week on where our schools of fish seem to be hanging out. Uh, right now, we've got a good area right over here to our right. Uh, we haven't hit, obviously, this morning, but we're just going to keep jumping around, keep chasing them fish. We may end up up the lake you know, a couple more miles here before the day's over. But trying to find the least pressured fish, and right now this is obviously the area, there's hardly any boats around here, which is a good thing or a bad thing. Right now it seems like it's a bad thing because we're not on our fish. So we just gotta keep hunting. Just do what we did during practice, keep moving. I think it's gonna be really tight. Uh, we've been catching a lot of fish pre-fishing, but um, you know, there are a lot of cookie cutter fish, a lot of fish that are in the same size range. So uh, every day he and I have been able to catch several that uh, are the kind of fish that we want. But, you know, right now I'm not feeling quite as confident as I was coming into it because the fish have obviously moved from where we pre-fish. So uh, we need things to pick up a little bit to make that top 50 tomorrow. We still got time and we still got several places, so hopefully we'll be able to pull it out. With elimination on everyone's mind, time is getting shorter and the weigh-ins are closer every minute. Who will be back on the water on day two? That's just ahead on the American Crappie Trail. B&M Poles, the number one crappie pole company in the world. More tournament wins than any other crappie pole. BNMPoles.com. Clean up your toughest messes super easy, super fast. Super Clean Floor Absorbent is formulated to do the work for you. Just apply and watch the spill absorb in minutes. Super Clean Floor Absorbent weighs only three pounds, so it's easy to pour and store no matter how messy the situation gets. For the one-two punch and stain fighting, follow up with Super Clean Degreaser for a like new finish. For all your greasiest, grimiest, toughest tasks around the house, shop, or garage, Super Clean gets the job done. Super easy, super fast, super clean. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z series, unleash next level performance. Mercury, go boldly. More than a century ago, General Tire was born, right here in America. Since then, we've made a name for ourselves by making tires you can depend on. Tires built to handle any road this country can throw at them, and relied on by every kind of driver. So you know that no matter where life takes you, with General Tire, anywhere is possible. As a professional angler, my success is directly related to my preparation. In a tournament, I may cover hundreds of miles of water in one day. That's thousands of miles in a year just getting to the fish. I use Lucas Oil products to ensure my success on the water. Lucas Oil, made in America, sold to the world.
It's time to find out who will be here for day two of the national championship, sponsored by Lucas Oil. And welcome to Sardis Lake, Mississippi at the American Crappie Trail 2019 National Championship. Folks, I'm James Bryant. Welcome aboard. And we've got a little bit of a crazy kind of a weigh-in we're going to try this week. We're going to do a little social distancing, so we're going to do a drive through weigh-in. And we're going to interview each other across from the aisle here to keep everyone safe, keep everybody healthy. But we're going to move on right now to boat number 53, Mr. Kevin Rogers with the Bass Tank Garmin Sponsor Team. How you doing, buddy? Glad, glad to be here. Love crappie fish. I can't wait to go crappie fishing tomorrow. I'd go right now if you'd let me. Love are, it. Are you confident you're going to go tomorrow with this? Yeah, I'm going tomorrow. Um, Three-day tournament. So check it out, guys. We got a good string here. 1076. 1076 puts you in second place, my friend. Awesome. So coming up next, we have boat number 32, team of Tony Hughes and Jeff Riddle. Just happened to be some previous ACT National Championship champions. How you doing, Jeff? Good, good. Got seven fish today. Got some good ones again? Ah, uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see what we got here. And it does feel good, guys. Get you on the board today. And yes, sir, you do. 10.99, 10.99. You're up ahead by over a pound right now. Might be that. Might be that again. There you go. The That's bar. okay, Tony. You <laughs> celebrate. We got boat number 49, Daniel Porter and Jeremy Aldridge, b and sponsored pro staff team. They did put together a seven fish limit today. How was it today, Jeremy? It was good. Let's see what we got here for you. Fell short by a hundredth of an ounce last year, right? Yeah. Time Little. to redeem yourself, isn't it? Yes, sir. And you're going to do it. Look at this, folks. We got a new leader. 11.14. 11.14 puts you right there at the top. Yes, sir. Great day one start for you. What do you got in store for tomorrow? We're just going to get back after it. Uh, hopefully we left some in there and, and uh, see what we'll get tomorrow. Very good. That's a heck of a string, guys. You're the first one to break the 11-pound string. Your current leaders right here, Derek, Jeremy Aldridge, Daniel Porter. 11 pounds. Good job, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Boat number four, Shannon Beckman and Kyler Beckman. All right, well, you got a big fish in here, too. 216's a big fish. Looks like a good one here, guys. Let's see what we got. 216 to beat it. You're going to do that, too. 219, guys. 219. Current big fish, <laughs> Shannon and Kyler Beckman. I'll hold it up there for everybody to see. Check that guy out, huh? Hey, and I caught that. Usually Did Kyler you catches him, but I actually caught that one. Kyler, congratulations. Hope you guys make it. Way to go on that big fish, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you all. Thank you. As day one draws to a close on Sardis Lake, the top 50 teams will go on, while those that didn't make the cut will go home. The standings after day one look like this, with the Bass Tank team member Kevin Rogers in third with 10.76, the Millennium Marine team of Hughes and Riddle in second with 10.99, and taking first place on day one, the B&M team of Porter and Aldridge with 11.14 pounds. Tune in next time for all the excitement on day two of the national championship right here on the American Crappie Trail.